What's up, everybody? This is your boy Chris Rebeats back with another video. Today, uh, today, guys, let's discuss this object instrument. It's been a minute since I've been able to make a video, been a minute since I've been able to go live, but I am super excited that we could get it in today. Shouts out to Glacier Rays, Mr. Frosty Beats, Mike Romando. Glad to have you guys in the chat. If anybody else is in the chat, make sure that you drop something in the chat so we can see that you guys are here, okay? We definitely want to chat with you today and want to get the vibe from you guys about how you feel about Object, man. So they finally have released some actual images. They've released some video, some sound, of course, has been included of what the uh, device is going to sound like in those videos so they've they've definitely given us you know what we've been looking for in terms of what is this thing what is this new instrument you had and hyped it up and all of that so now that we have hyped it up so far now let's actually get a first look now if you are um, custom to going to the website then of course you've already seen this first look but I want to take a first look and actually look at the stuff with you guys and actually go over what does this mean what is this modeling a uh, uh, modeling software what 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 is this what what is this thing you know I have no clue I have no idea this is gonna be like a first look with me and then I gotta be honest with you guys I saw somebody uh actually not saw somebody it was stock music stock music musician uh YouTube page he had a did a video on object i was upset because i thought he was showing the actual instrument inside of reason but really he was just showing the same thing i'm showing right now which is the snapshot that they gave us i was like yo he's on youtube with this thing way be like it was three days ago april 4th i was like yo hold on somebody finna send some cease and desist letters but comes to find out it was just a snapshot. I actually watched the video and then just get off. But he's smart because he he's the first video that I've seen up. He's doing pretty good. 5,000 um, views so far here on YouTube. If you guys want, you can head over to Stock. I think it's Stock Music Musician or something like that. The YouTube page and you can check it out. I, unfortunately, Glacier Rays have not had an advanced look at object as of yet i have not had an opportunity for an advanced look um i did get a advanced look at bb bvx and i did get an advanced look at chord sequencer when it first came out and so that was the the extent of it i guess i kind of you know wore, wore out my welcome a little bit or something like that but also i have also um put out a link where you guys can um join the live stream today because i want to actually talk you know the chat is really fun i love talking to you guys in the chat but actually being able to see somebody and have conversation with them i think that's really cool man and um i got my brother in the waiting room right now you know what I'm saying he didn't join the stream so just say something real quick so i can make sure we actually getting some feedback or something from you man frosty let me make sure i get your let me make sure i get your audio and everything set up <clears throat> so we make sure that everything is ready to go. Let me see. Unhide DAW video capture. I need to make sure I have an audio output capture is what I need. So I can make sure that that is coming in. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. So in the poll that we put up, I put up a poll. Is object hype or is it amazing what are you guys thinking and so far we are 50 50 right now uh 50 50 hype 50 50 amazing i don't know you know what we could say about that we're gonna look at um a little bit more in depth just kind of try to look and see what this is and just kind of look and uh, look to see what it means to be you know what this actual device is um frosty you there Hello, 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 hello. Let me see something real quick. So we looking at, um, let me see, say something, my brother. <clears throat> Get my headphones on real quick. And then let me look and see what you guys are saying, what y'all thinking about the new device. 
so far in the chat what we saying in the chat all right so mm, it's gonna take a much cheaper price point for me to ever join up to a subscription service i think uh reason reason plus for what you get it really depends on where you are with your system like with your setup it really depends on how much you have like do you have a um, do you already own reason do you do you need to um get a copy of reason like all of those things are going to matter with whether or not it is worth it you know uh to me i think that's part of the conversation that has to happen is you know if it's actually worth it uh it's gonna come based upon you know if you already have it so for example if you already have reason like if you already pay for reason 12, then it's not going to really benefit you all that much. You know, if you, um, uh, if you don't have a reason, you know, if you don't have the full service, the, the full software and you decide, okay, I, I want to get the full software, or even if you're like on reason five or reason 10, like something much lower then getting reason plus gives you access to all of the players all of the instruments, the reason, um, the reason companion app where you can get all of the sound packs. And so it really just opens up, you know, a whole lot more than if you bought the full software right now. But if you already have the full software, then it really just becomes another software, you know, service, another subscription service in the sense of, okay, it's only, it just depends on if you, if you actually like the sound packs, if you actually need access to the other instruments, stuff like that, then that's when it becomes, you know, a different situation. But I think to each his own with that, I think there's definitely some added benefits. There's some things that you could do and it really just depends. It really just depends. Let me see. I think I need to turn my mic up just a little bit. We'll turn the mic up a little bit. Yo, Chris, where is mine? Where's your where's your what? Raging Oracle, what's up? Where's your what? So, oh, look, I can hear him coming in. I can hear him coming in. Okay, just say something real quick, Frosty. My check 1774. <laughs> okay, I think we should be able to be able to hear you, man. Uh, I'm gonna add you over here. So in the YouTube live stream right now, we got my good brother, Mr. Frosty Beats. Welcome. Well, hello. <laughs> let me make sure that let me make sure that people can hear you good, man. How you doing today, Mr. Frosty? I'm doing pretty good. I won't I won't be able to watch YouTube and uh, meet at the same time, so I won't know what's going on on the screen over there, but. It's all good. You're doing well. Doing well. Uh, got a got a, a a new job and making new money. So. <laughs> hey, that's good, man. That's a blessing. You know, that's that's a blessing, my brother. So I'm glad to hear that. Yes, it's very nice. I have more time to make music, so that's that's really what's important, right? <laughs> yeah, that's that's dope too. All right, so I just wanted to make sure people could hear you good. It seems like we can. I'm gonna turn this guy off right here just so the mic can pick you up a little bit even better. So uh, let's let's discuss this object, Frosty, man. First of all, for those that don't know, Mr. Frosty Beats is such a great brother. He is on YouTube, he's on Instagram, he makes beats. He's a dope rapper, he's a dope artist, he's a dope everything. He's a man, you know, just a really good guy. You know, one of the first people to like hit me up and just be like, hey, man, I just, I just want to, you know, link with you. And I was like, I ain't nobody, you know, <laughs> but he definitely. To be fair, I did come pretty aggressively. I did come pretty aggressively, so. <laughs> I mean, he sent a full email, a full messaging, like everything. Like, yo, 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 who, yo, let me in. Like, come on, let's link up. Uh, all it right. Nice, it was nice to see another, another uh, lo-fi black beat maker that uses reason so it was, it was just a great plus <laughs> dope man dope so what do you think about object i think a lot about object i really i really really like um i really like the concept the idea that they're going for with it okay and 
Uh, what's up, Mike Romando? Uh, I think it's just a really interesting concept overall. I haven't heard of object modeling or object synthesis before, so this is my, my first time hearing about it. Um, and, th and the fact that there's actually, you know, machines out there that do that. But I'm definitely really interested to get my hands on it, to play with it, to really look at it. Um, and and they, they made some really cool sounds as far as the uh, the uh, the uh, the preview went and everything like that. So I was I, I was impressed. I don't I don't know uh, how excited I am, but I was impressed. <laughs> OK, OK. Yeah, I, I, I was impressed by. Well, I think some of the preview, like some of the preview videos that they did were pretty cool. Um, Ryan did the live stream recently, the spring break um, live stream, and he was, you know, very trying very hard to pull back and not give any information. Um, he did a good job. He did better than I would. Um, <laughs> and I can see why now. Let him do it right. It, <laughs> Now I can see also like because of the name, I can see how it's easy to like slip up and say it because object like that could yeah. be anything. Right. You could be talking about something and slip up and say object. So um, but what I was what I really liked was like, you know, he, he talks about it. He talked about how it's been in videos. We could actually hear some of the stuff we didn't we might didn't know we was actually hearing the instrument um yeah so the build-up is there and that was one of the reasons why i kind of did the poll like you know is it hype or do you think it's gonna be amazing like which which side are you leaning on frosty i'm leading i'm leaning on the amazing side only because only because i know what i do and i love 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 sound design point blank period so i think it's going to be on the amazing side because um, just just with the sounds that they dropped in the previews, like they they literally enveloped so many different soundscapes just in that preview. And I'm assuming now, I'm assuming that all the sounds were made from the object. I don't know if that if, if there's truth behind that, but I'm assuming that. Well, that if was one of the case. that was one of the things that Ryan talked about. He did say that there are some sounds in those previews that have been generated from object uh exclusively okay. but not everything not every sound right okay. well so, whenever it drops that'll be my first goal then is to make a a, a song that only uses object but um <laughs> but i'm i'm definitely hyped just from the sound design perspective like i'm definitely hyped and i think it's going to be amazing to play with to mess with and i think people are going to lose a lot a lot of hours of really getting into it so i mean that, that that's my take on it okay. i want to say it's all hype but reason's pretty good at delivering as far as their rack devices go so i can't can't lean towards hype <laughs> i mean has there has there been an instrument that you did not like that reason created this far like a player uh mm -hmm. i think i think from the community i think a lot of yeah. people were not as as excited or you know they didn't care about the sound that BVX created. Like that was a like, you know, vocoder sound style. Some people just shy away from that. And so I, I did notice that um, a few times uh, people were not yeah. all that thrilled about it. But it's more about the sound, because when you look at the actual in the, the actual effect works as an effect, works as an instrument, works as something you can play with your Ooh. microphone. It's very versatile. Ooh. And so the, yeah, the not to get on a go 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 ahead get on it yeah <laughs> not not to get on a side tangent about the vocoder that they dropped but that thing is powerful like it's it's an all in one tool I don't know how many people mess with vocoders in general but in order to use a vocoder you literally have to patch the vocoder or patch the instrument into the vocoder so you you have to have a carrier and you have to have the actual synthesized instrument that you're layering onto the carrier to make it sound like that. So there's, right. there's already a lot of routing that goes into that. And the, the greatest thing about that B, uh, B, B box or BB, BBX, sorry, vocoder is that it takes out all of the, the route work, you know, what I'm yeah, saying? you yeah. can still go in there and route it customizably, but it takes out all of the hard part of getting your vocoder set up and lets you get straight to vocoding. Exactly. So even though, you know, the community might not have been hype about it, I think, I think if we look past it just being another vocoder and actually look at the accessibility it provides, it's it's such a game changer.
man, I, it's so many things going through my head right now. First off, Tim, you got some you you got some time, right, Mr. Frosty? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, you, for a while. okay, you got some time. Okay, let's hang out and let's talk about this stuff. Let's let's look through it. Let's go through it. Um, you <laughs> we were talking about BVX and we were saying, okay, yeah, it's super easy to just you know drag and drop to get it going. So you don't have to do the patching, especially if you're talking about what it was like using the older vocoders that came with reason before that. Right. It was just a lot of work as a, a lot of patching. And, you know, so if you were into it, then cool, you was able to work it out. If you weren't, then it kind of got a little like, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll do something else. So I really do like that. Okay. Let me clear a few things up and then I'm going to get into this, into this new uh, instrument. Hype, or amazing. So when we when I say hype, what I mean is, you know, is it just all hype? Is it just like they're hyping it up to be great, but it's not really going to be great? And then amazing is speaks for itself, right? Amazing is amazing. So for those that are doing the poll, if you want to, the good response is amazing, and hype would be ah, uh, they're making, they're blowing it out of proportion. Okay, so that's the that's the idea about that. I saw somebody was asking about that in the chat. Other than, look, I got to tell you guys, this is so cool. I am like, I am, I am freaking out right now. This is wonderful. I'm so glad that you jumped on Frosty. I put the link out. I was like, nobody's going to click that link. This is so cool. Okay. So Glacier Rays, <laughs> Glacier Rays was talking about object and he was saying it has audio ends too, right? So can be used uh -huh. to process audio too. So now let's go to the actual instrument. Now, can you see the screen Frosty in terms of, uh, or is it on your something else? I, I jumped over there. I really want to get on my computer, but my son is asleep right now, so I'm Man, not going to risk look, that. Let you, um, but let, I've, got it, I've got it pulled up on my phone. I'm, I'm going to see if I can get some better re resolution going on my phone here. Okay, fool. Uh, let your okay, son... Yeah, I'm about to turn sideways. Okay, for sure. Hold on. You good. Let your son sleep, because that's right. the reason why I'm live streaming right now, okay? <laughs> <laughs> To real. those that's that <laughs> to those that don't know, uh, my son, I had a son recently. Uh, he was born three weeks ago. Um, and um, right now they took him, you know, they took him uh, to the doctor to somewhere. And it, I just had a moment where it was like, oh, y'all going? Y'all don't need me? Oh, OK, cool. Live stream. <laughs> So hey, I'm not look, I'm not gonna get on my tangent about you having a baby. I'm you already know how I feel about that. So yes. we'll, we'll we'll leave that out of the chat. Yes. Congrats, congrats. Thank congrats. you, sir. And, and <laughs> thank you, sir. And I appreciate all of the love you've been sending through Instagram as well. All right, so object. <laughs> object does yes. have external ends where you can actually go in to it whatever that might mean in terms of external in we got some cv control cv input and cv output so whatever kind of modulation you can get into in here you can also send that modulation out now that's not anything shocking or surprising because i want to say 98 percent of reason instruments and effects you can send your cv out so um yeah but that's something cool. So, but that was one of the questions was about, I think that it, it kind of will apply the same idea in terms of like BVX sending a carrier in to the device and then using that signal to manipulate it. You know, what do you think? I'm, I'm looking at the signal flow here on the back. Okay. Um, and it looks like, okay, so the external end goes to the goes EQ. To that EQ and then it can go to any, any of the. So it has object one, object two, modal, oh. object one, object two. And then it can and go the through the mixer. Can... That's wild. And yeah. So it's the... looking yeah. like, looking like you can pretty much do the same thing that you do with the BVX and just go straight into it. So yes. it looks cool. So the name of this patch they have up here is Glass Wave. Uh -huh. <clears throat> so let's look at these different sections that we got here. Okay, we got the traditional patch session. This is usually what I do when I do my A to Z tutorials. By the way, if you guys haven't checked out the A to Z tutorials, I go to do to I do man. Can I talk? I do tutorials on Reason, and I go through the alphabet from A to Z. Now, right now we're on T. And I have an idea for that next video, but it all depends on if I actually get some time and sleep to actually get that video out. <laughs> but 
top of it looks like it's good. I see a tuner. Do you see that right here on this right side? It says analyze tuner. On the right side, analyze. So the very top of the very top of the device next to where the patch, you know, save patch is right to oh, the right oh, of it. Oh, yes. What in the world is that? So it looks as though, you know, it's going to be able to it, it, it's got some BV. I'm telling you, it's got some BVX Neptune. It's going to be able to detect the pitch. So you can sing into it. You can play something into it um, and then you can tune it. So I see it says analyze and then fix. So you're going to be able to, I guess, fix the pitch. OK. OK, that's that's interesting. I don't what I, I it, it makes me wonder what what applications that would have. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, is it is it going to be a. Is it going to be a follower? You know, is it going to follow the pitch? Because I mean, we, we got to think about what what they're calling the synthesizer. It's a it's a object modeling synthesizer, right? Right. So the goal is to is probably going to be to model it after real sounds. So you import a real sound or you play a real sound into it, and then um, I don't know, we don't know, but speculation maybe the modeler takes and analyzes that information and follows the pitch of it or follows the frequency, probably a lot more, um, more accurate there. Um, man, that's pretty wild. I See, think that, I can't wait to get my hands on this. Yeah, me too. I think that could, I think that could definitely be the case. Like you said, as a follower, um, mm -hmm. With the idea, I guess, okay, modeling synthesizer, it's like it's 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 gotta be that something goes into it and then it's able to manipulate the sound that goes into it. Cause basically, okay, right. when we're talking about regular synthesizers, right? We're talking about regular right. synthesizers, they give you different waveforms, a sine, a triangle, whatever. They give you those waveforms, and then you send that through the device and through the envelopes and through the modulations to create your synth. Mm -hmm. So that's from Maelstrom, Subtractor, you know, all those things. And all the way, like Thor, all the way up to Europa. Europa is nice because they give you a lot more wave forms that you can choose right. from with, you know, developing and sound designing your synth. And then you can actually change the shape of the wave and all of that, yeah. right? Sasha, what's good, man? Good to see you in here. Oh, snap. What's poppin', Sasha? Along with it, I guess what I'm saying is, by this being a modeling synthesizer, it doesn't seem like you get that initial wave form for you to right. manipulate. You're manipulating whatever is coming into the device. Okay. It seems like that might be the... I mean, because it's, 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 it's a synthesizer, but... Like I'm looking, I'm not seeing the same thing that we would see, you know, normally with their synthesizers, you, there would be like a window where you could choose, okay, choose your saw, choose your square wave, choose this. They don't have that here. You know, you have the mm -hmm. modal, you have the modal, the object, the object too. So I don't know, maybe, maybe this modal clip may, might look different and you might actually be able to have that there. That might be the case. Ugh, I wish we could click around more on this thing. They just yeah. showed us the object. So yeah, I wonder what that modal what that modal looks like because that might be where we get all of our different waves and things of that nature. Like Maybe that might be the this the starting point, and then right. the rest of these are kind of just manipulating um, ah, that sound. That could be the case, man. Because it looks like okay, we got the external in here, and it goes through this section on the left side. I mean, this thing. I mean, it's really interesting the design of things, how you take like an idea, like we want a sound that can do this. And then someone has to come in and like create the visual look of it. Right. Right. Yeah. That's so, the fun part. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and, and that's all about like the software development and things like that. That's what we getting into. Right. Mm -hmm. yes, right. Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> so, yes, so I know that's going to be a big part. And you, you're all into customizing looks. You did some sound patches for me, uh, some, um, oh, yeah. some skins. Um, I am oh, yeah. too lazy and, and, <laughs> and, and, and all the other words you can use for me to, 
But I think I I think I was well, able to. I wouldn't call it lazy. I would call it uh, focused in other areas. All right. You're, you're focused in other areas. All right. you, you're spending your time elsewhere. All right, Frosty. Frosty shot me some bail. All right, cool. So yes, yes. <laughs> I mean it. It's definitely an exciting looking instrument. I like the layout of it. I like how it looks. It looks complicated enough and yet still simplified. It look, yeah, it looks intuitive. You know, yes. they give you each section and try and try and at least lead you across um, uh, across the, the board here. Like, you know, you're going to start over here with the exciter. Right. Um, and kind of make like a little you kind of make like a go around. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like you're going to start easy. And, and, and you can start up here with the EQ as well. I mean, that that's probably a good place to start. Um, but it, I, I always I always feel a little um what's the word i'm looking for i always feel a little gypped mm. with reasons um on on board that's what i'm going to call it right now the effects that that are on board with their onboard eqs because they only let you attack one frequency at a time there's a, there's not the multi-band um kind of factor that we get with the with the channel eq and then also the um the pop-up eq that they have for the for the mixer channels okay so i mean that's that's one of the things that i always felt like they kind of limited us on but i guess that just goes to say maybe do some eq processing before you you know throw throw your external in into the object um but other than that i mean they do really good with their onboard customizations to the point where you really don't have to go off board if you don't want to um, right, right. Like you have, well, like this one is, it has a distortion. Like, so looking at the effect side of this, this would be on the right, on the right side of the device toward the right. bottom. It's in yellow. So we have our distortion kind of the same way that the last couple instruments look like mimic has this kind of module. Yeah. Um, mimic, mimics, mimics is crazy. We'll yeah. I, I like, <laughs> I like mimics effect section. Uh, mimic, yeah. mimic has one, um, Grain has one that looks like this. Europa has one that looks like this. Mm -hmm. So this onboard EQ effects section. So we have a distortion, compressor, looks like a delay, reverb, and EQ. You can turn all okay, of those so on. Second chance to EQ in there, I guess. And the routing of it, and the routing of it, of course, it, as we were looking at it, your external comes in. You can hit this first EQ, but then you also can hit these effects before it goes out. So it's the last yeah. thing in the chain, according to this diagram. It's the last thing in the chain. That last effect uh, area is the last thing in oh, the chain. The okay. So you could do, you know, you could get. Now I'm looking at even right now. I guess the only thing you can see is the distortion. So we can't see what compression or delay reverb EQ looks like. But distortion, they mm -hmm. gave us drive. They gave us some body options or some some types options for the yeah. distortion scream tube. Your amount, your tone. I'm, I'm pretty sure they kept they kept their effects um, kind of uniform with what everything else has had. I'm um, on the other ones, just really, really short. And I, I do like how they simplify it. Like it's short, sweet, and to the point. You yeah. know, you're not you're not bogged down with all these other extra effect knobs. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure they kept it they kept it pretty uniform with the rest of them because even looking at the distortion they have the same bodies as they have on the other ones right right i like the knobs i like i like the knobs and the look is it's, yeah. it looks pretty nice they're taking advantage of the new uh hd you know graphic graphics yeah. that they you think we'll get go ahead you think we'll get these knobs on the combinator you think they'll update the combinator knobs anytime soon yeah. i think so i think they might <laughs> i think they might <laughs> Um, we did I, get one update on them, so I'm not mad. <laughs> and it's just like, man, it's, it's reason is so interesting because you could just spend all of your time doing one thing, like not just creating the whole beat, but just creating a modulation chain. You could spend <laughs> Every time you open Reason, you could just do that. You could just say, hey, I'm just going to connect all of these devices together, all of these CVs. I'm going to set up like a, a performance key triggering system. You know, mm -hmm. you could just spend all your time doing that. You might not even actually create a track. You just spend all your time. That's how I feel about the Combinator. I feel like the Combinator, oh like you're talking about adding more knobs. I'm like, yo, it's too many options right now. 
<laughs> you can just get lost in it, you know? It's just it's like not enough. Please. It's not enough. <laughs> it's not enough. It's not enough. It, it, I mean, it depends. It, it, but I have I have a couple of things that I wish Reason would do with the Combinator, only because I've I've kind of extensively went like super ham. Don't get me wrong. I went like super ham and went to I should just be coding plugins kind mm. of level. But I've definitely I've definitely had like five or six sections on one of them. And then you saw with uh, the one the one piano I sent you, yeah. you can go in there and do a basically a drop down menu the same way that um, the reverb, the RB7000 is set up or even the uh, 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 what's another one that has a drop down. I can't think of it right now. The NNXT, I oh, mean, gotcha. it just drops down to the sampler, but, you know, just just a whole drop down menu for a second section. I wish they kind of enabled a way for you to do that without having to go all the way in and make it, you know, you want to, you want to be able to create your own synth, not just a combinator. You want to create I mean, your own device. I want a little extra accessibility with the combinator because th that's what they encourage you to do with the combinators, create your own device. Right. I mean, yes. I don't know. I don't know how in the forums you've been, but like people go, I, I, I went wild with the combinator, but people go wild with oh, the yeah. combinator. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. But let's not harp on that. Let's let's get back to the object. I mean, it's just so it's 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 the object of our you know I don't know the, the object of our eye or it, it could be the object of our, de of our demise. I don't know. That's that's <laughs> that's how those sayings go. So with object, um, so we're looking at this stuff now. I wanted to talk about this because artificial intelligence has been just mm -hmm. running rampant, and just Take the idea off. of AI. I mean. I want to get my hands on the voice modeling, whatever is happening, where you can sound like Kendrick Lamar, you can sound like oh, Kanye. Yeah. I want to get my hands on that. I think that's cool. But that also is like another thing. It's, it's another topic for another day because I've seen that it's come out that someone used, it was Eminem, somebody used Eminem's voice with this AI system or with this whatever effect it was made a cat rap, made a video, and then Universal sent a copyright strike to that person. In other words, saying, hey, this is from a song. Or, you know, like, we're, we're taking ownership of this. I was, so, so that's like, that's what I said, that's a whole nother conversation. I might have to have you back on here, Frosty, to have that conversation. So get your, get your notes together, your thoughts together about oh, that. Lord, I got a, I got a whole office at work now. I can close my door. Just let me know. <laughs> Man, because it's a really, I think that's an extensive conversation about it's, it's, a, it's business. It's, it's intellectual property, your IP. It's, it's your own your own voice being emulated you know they did the same thing with visuals with video deep fake you can put yeah. whole faces into rooms and onto bodies that was never in that video so all of that yeah. stuff is is crazy it's definitely taking the likeness of somebody like raging oracle is saying yeah now i'm a that could get dangerous yeah i'm gonna take all of that stuff marcus garvey what's good man i'm gonna take all that stuff and then direct you to this button that says randomize. Randomize. Mm -hmm. Because there was one synth instrument. It was a VST called Gladiator 2. It's the first time I ever saw an instrument, a VST that had a randomized button. And you could just randomize okay. the entire patch. So you hit randomize and the entire patch goes bloop, 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 bloop and spits you out a brand new sound that's nothing like the patches that they had, right? Okay. So now we okay. have so now we have this where you have audio coming into the device. Mm -hmm. And then you have these different parameters that you can affect and you have a randomized mm -hmm. button that looks like you can randomize the modal, the object and the object too. So you can have complete okay. randomization happening. Is this something to be excited about or is this or is this overkill? I I mean, have you messed with complexes or with with the complex um 
what is it? What is it? the synth the complex synthesizer? I think that they dropped a little bit no. recently. No, because it's because what I was saying about this was looks good, looks smooth, complex looks just like that. <laughs> it just looks complex. <laughs> It's all of these different. It's it's the back of the rack flipped around on you. So now you just see all these cables. Oh no, I have it. I'm not actually. I'm 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 not mad. I'm not mad. You're correct. It is definitely complex. It it, it really gets deeper into to patching and and modular synthesis. But they have they have a randomized button on that one, um, which which actually I was I was impressed. Um, but that's be I, I think that's just because they made a good instrument. Um, and I kind of feel the same way about this. Although, again, if we're thinking about what its purpose is in object modeling, mm -hmm. I honestly don't think the randomized button can hurt ever at all. Me either. Because Me either. I, I, unless you have a specific sound that you're looking for, you know, you throw you throw that in there. You say, hey, I want I want to get some random noises so I can make glitch music and I'm going to chop up all these samples really small anyways, do some grain sampling. You hit randomize five seconds later, you're no longer worried about, you know, use an object to make something sound amazing. You're, you're already on the process of chopping up your samples right. and figuring out how you're going to fit them into your song. Right. 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 So I, I think it gives you all of the greatness of the, of the instrument or the device without, you know, like you said, you can get lost but without the time of getting lost in, in whatever you're doing. And then you can hit it a couple times. You know what I'm saying? If you don't like what you hear the first time. So <laughs> I mean, when when they introduced randomize to baseline generator, that like blew my mind. I was like, well, that's my favorite new thing now, just hitting randomize. I'm <laughs> I, I'm waiting for the patch for them to include that in all of the devices. Like just do the machine learning, AI, whatever the technology is, the algorithm, whatever the technology is that goes into randomizing these numbers. Let's just do that to everything. You know, let's get real lazy. <laughs> let's, oh let's let the computer do all the work. Look, for you to get real lazy, it takes the programmer probably six months. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to find all the all the values that need to be randomized so he can put the randomized stickers on it. Oh my goodness, man. This thing is That'd uh be nice though. This That'd thing be is nice though. This thing is going to be interesting. All right, so I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to let you go uh Frosty man. I really appreciate you coming on to the stream, my brother. Not for the sake of I don't want to talk to you longer, but because Zoom is going to kick us out anyway. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but I really I, I really hey, appreciate man. you for coming in and, and chopping it up with me about object, man. I think this was super cool, guys. We should have this coming. We should have this coming even more, man. We should we should do this more often, bro. Heck yeah. And then if we need if we need to pay for Zoom, let me know. Let's just, you know, get get the get the ball on the road. Look, at you, normal look at you talking about <laughs> if we need to pay for Zoom. I'll work something out. I'll figure it out, man. I got us. Okay, it's I got sounds it. good. Because I use this other thing too. You. I appreciate you, Tim. I appreciate you, Frosty Man. Take care. I, I don't know if I'm throwing you. I don't want to throw your stuff out there if you don't want it out there. I ain't, it ain't that serious. You saw me just drop a video telling everybody that my life is changing. Oh you know man, <laughs> uh, Frosty Man, I appreciate you. Take care, man, and send the family my love, brother. For sure. Peace. Thank you for having me. Peace, man. All right, y'all. All right, so I was getting real technical up in here. Sasha going to sleep. I know, man, I'm, I'm, it's a late stream today, man. I uh, had some time to jump on, but I was glad to see you in here, man. Uh, it was also good to see Frosty. I, I, I'm, thanks for coming through, Sasha, man. It's good to see you. Uh, Glacier Ray says, don't forget quad no generator. You can set limits and rough parameters, but then it does its thing. Randomized doesn't have to be a complete lack of control. I agree with you. I see exactly what you mean by, by that in terms of a uh, quad no generator. Every time I get on quad no generator though, it's like hit or miss for me. I remember the first time I ever did it, it was in conjunction with a uh, chord sequencer just trying to create melodies from the chords that was happening in chord sequencer. And it was like, like all of these different things to do in order to get like some choppy little notes and things happening. Ryan 
is a wizard at it. He knows exactly what to set it to get that plinky plonky. That's what he calls it. The plinky plonky sounds. He knows exactly what he needs to do to get those plinky plonky sounds. But for me, I just, uh, I don't know. It just, it just, uh, it, it, it's hit or miss. Cause I've definitely loaded it up one time and like created my melody for that beat and was super happy with what I got out of it. Um, and it doesn't have to be, everything shouldn't have to be completely randomized, right? It's just in the world of, you know, what we're doing with this in the world of, uh, AI and, 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 and algorithms and artificial intelligence in the world of all this stuff that we have, it's just, it's just interesting to see how far we can push it and, you know, what can be done. There's already like AI generating, like it can generate full beats. Like it can generate the whole thing with drums, bass, and a sound, you know, already in included in it. So it shouldn't be that, it, that shouldn't be the case. Like, I don't think producers should be just going to the AI and saying, make me a full beat. And then it's like, oh yeah, that's my beat. It's like, no, you, you shouldn't do that. You should still, you know, try to have fun and, and learn how to make beats and stuff, man. Like. But it is it's, it's exciting for me to see this randomized button here because I'm just wondering like how much easier it's gonna be. Posting beats is up in here. What's up, posting? So he's asking how much is it gonna cost? We actually don't have a cost for it. Let's speculate. We can look and say, you know, based upon what we have in the past, look from more from Reason Studios. So Rotor, you know, that's just an effect for the rotary speaker. They want 54 euros. Why is this in euros, by the way? How come this is not converted to dollars? Because I'm not I'm not going to be purchasing in euros. But anyway, Parsec, which is an instrument that can do a whole lot of stuff, is 129. Polar is 74. So uh, I think we're going to be dropping some dollars. <laughs> I don't, you know, I, I, I think it's clear that it's not going to just be, uh, let's see if they actually has a baseline generator player is 69 bucks. Uh, they don't have a price up for it. I don't, I don't, you know, probably cause it's not ready to be purchased. Uh, it's not out to be purchased, but, um, just looking at, you know, some of the other things, I think they're going to hit you for at least a hundred bucks. Okay. So now we're in dollars. I think they're going to hit you for at least a hundred bucks. They have auto tune reason here. I don't know they have auto tune reason. Yeah, BVX is still going for a hundred bucks. So if BVX is going for a hundred bucks, I think they're still gonna hit you for I think they're gonna hit you for a hundred bucks. At the very at the very least, I think. But you know, we're just speculating. Um club drums, hundred bucks. That's interesting to see that stuff that I got free with my um stuff I got free with my subscription is stuff that they are um you know, other people are paying for and then, you know, but you pay for it and you got it forever versus you get your reason plus bundle, you know, get your reason plus subscription. And then if you stop the reason plus subscription, now you don't have access to it. So it's like that. Post and beast, man. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the super chat, my brother. Coming through with the super chat, man. I really appreciate that, bro. And it, and it just makes the chat look so cool. It got this nice blue right there, you know. Man, that's kind of cool looking, y'all. Throw some hundreds up here. Let me see this thing right here. Throw some hundreds up here for posting, man. Posting beats up in this thing. Posting, you trying to jump? Well, let me see. Appreciate you posting for, for the super chat, my brother. Um, He said, learn from Waves. Yeah, y'all. Let's talk about that real quick, too, because Waves... Waves... uh. Waves did they 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 made some people upset, man. They made some people upset with this creative access, but they've already reverted from what they had said. They they made access to their plugins strictly through the Waves Creative Access platform. Um, they made it that way where you had to actually purchase, you had to sign up for the subscription, $24.99, $14.99, $2.50 for the whole year. Um, if you do it annually and people were upset about that, um, people were upset about that. Um, and the situation is, uh, I made a video 
because, you know, I was like, well, you know, these are my thoughts. And some people agreed with my thoughts. There were a lot of people that was like, I'm right there with you, Chris, because that's the situation that they, it, it benefited them that they went to the subscription model. They were happy about it. And then it was a lot more other people that was like, hey, yo, Chris, get this out of here, man. What is you talking about? No way I'm going to be paying for access to these plugins like this. I already bought these plugins or I already found the link that would let me get them for free. I'm not going through this no more because I didn't do what I had to do to get my stuff. The situation is like, look, they they heard the outcry. They heard the uproar. They heard how everybody was upset about it. And they went ahead and allowed people to have access to buy and purchase the plugins. You don't have to have just the subscription service in order to do it. I heard a lot of people also say the same thing that I had just read in chat that reason should learn from them. I think that's raging oracles. Reasons should learn from them. They should offer something, but you should never force your users. You should never force your customer, never force people into what you want because it's going to be beneficial to you or because it's going to help the company. It's going to turn a dollar. You should just never force, especially, especially this community because we're artists and we want to have access to the stuff that we want to use to make our music. And we don't want to have to be put into the position of, well, now I got to choose and pick or go without, you know, we just want to have access to it and, and we want what's fair, you know? So I understand, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not retracting what I'm saying. I still believe that it comes down to how invested you are. Um, and if you already invested in purchasing the plugins, then we understand your frustration. But for those who are like, hey, I've never been able to buy a reason. I've never been able to buy a Waves plugin in the past. It's been too much money. I've never been able to buy a bundle in the past. It's been too much money. Well, guess what? Now you don't have to worry about that because you can get the entire line. You can get the entire line uh, through the, uh, subscription service. So that benefited a lot of people. Now I'm looking at this right now. Silver, the starter collection for pro sound was at five 99 and now you can get it for $100, not even $100, $98 .99. Now y'all going to be looking at me saying, Chris, are you sponsored? Like, are you sponsored by Waves? No, but I'm trying to be. <laughs> but no, I just thought that is interesting. It, this is literally my first reaction to these things. Looking at uh, Object, that was my first reaction to that. Looking at this, this is my first reaction to this. I have not ever clicked on this to purchase bundles from Waves. Seeing that right now down from 600 bucks to 100 bucks, I don't know, somebody... Is going to benefit from that 300 bucks to 68 bucks i mean a 90 percent sale horizon is a four thousand dollar this is the reason the reason why i went here was to say i see why some people are upset but um it's very expensive to get access to so many different plugins i was going here to show look this is how much the plugins cost and they got all the plugins on sale so I don't know if that's like also in response to what was happening. Like they was like, man, we done lost so many users and we done lost so many people. We need to do something to get these people back. I don't know if that's the case or if that's what happened. Cause the mercury bundle, this is the one that I heard a lot of people said that they had put their hard earned money into mercury bundle right now. It's $7,600. This is one over 180 plugins. It's down to like two grand right now. He said, Waves is always on sale. Is it always on sale like this? Is it always on sale like this, though, Frosty? I don't know. I And and and, and trust me, I wouldn't, though, because I just, I just looked at it like this. I just said, man, them people are expensive. And when they're expensive, I ain't even going over there. I don't even go on this. What I'm going in Louis Vuitton for? What, what am I going into Louis Vuitton for? I ain't got, I might want some stuff there, but I know I can't buy nothing in there. I'm not going in there. 
what, I, what I'm going in there for to look around and look at all the pretty stuff for that I can't buy. I ain't going in there. So I did the same thing with waves. I just said, waves is expensive. I ain't going in there. I'm not going. I'm not going to the website to see if they all sell or not. This stuff down from seven, 750 to 120, 80% sale. Save 85%, 61%. That's, that's interesting. I bet it takes so long to release because Ryan has a hard time making a good video to present this thing in a way everyone can understand. No, I think that Ryan is a wizard at creating those videos. I've never seen a video where it felt like, yo, this was hard for him to create. Like, I, I, I don't, I'm not exactly sure what you said there. It's a funny take. Not exactly sure what you said there. I think it's more like we got to make sure that this thing is everything that we're claiming it is going to be. We're saying we, we didn't create this little image and we didn't create this look and this vibe. We want it to be everything that it can be. OK, go to Hillerhurst, Killerhurst guys. They're good, honest folk. Great modular plugins, great modular sense, low DSP and a ten dollar subscription model. I like kill. I like all of the kilohertz uh, effects. I like all of the kilohertz effects that are in reason that you can get for reason completely free. I like all of these effects. Here we go. Kilohertz. I like all of these effects. Big crush, chorus, comb filter. All of this stuff is good. And all of this is free. Okay. Uh, Glacier Rays, the live streams are invaluable. I feel you. I feel you. Ain't that the same as going into Guitar Center to look? <laughs> hey, hey, don't be exposing me, him downstairs. Hey, don't be exposing me, okay? Because I definitely, I will go into Guitar Center, but here's the difference. This is the difference. This is what I was talking about investing. This is the difference, okay? I'm not going into Louis Vuitton or into, you know, Saks Fifth or whatever. I'm not going in there to look at the stuff that I know that I can't buy. I will go into Guitar Center and play on a $3,500 drum set that I know I'm not going to buy, but I can play it. And I will pull my phone out and record me playing on that drum set, too, right there in the middle of the showroom. I will go into the piano room, into the keyboard section and record myself playing stuff. And if something really catches my eye and I'm really in the mood I will pull out a credit card and be like, all right, here we go. <laughs> I will sign up for the credit card at Guitar Center for 24 months, 0% financing if I find something that I really want and need. I'm not going to do that for Louis Vuitton. I'm not going to do that for anywhere else. So I guess that's the difference. But you definitely, you definitely caught me with that one because even if I'm not spending no money, I will go into a Guitar Center and just... Oh, this is nice. Oh, this is. Oh. Oh, this is. Oh, this is nice. Oh, hey, how you doing? Oh, no, I'm just looking. No, I'm just looking. I'm just checking it out, you know? Y'all got some drumsticks? Yeah, I'm just. No, I just wanted to look at it. This is a cool little guitar y'all got over here at Guitar Center. Can I just, hold on. Will y'all let me, you said what? You said I could play this? Oh, you give me patch cables and I can just sit here and boom, sh boom, boom, sh boom, boom, sh boom, sh boom, 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 sh you let me do that? Dope. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's the difference between going to those different places okay that's the difference it's like oh y'all will let me go into guitar center and just go crazy Ooh. all right having too much fun having too much fun but that's what i'm talking about it's just a little different just a little different just a little different it says uh let me see here uh 
I definitely will go in and just start playing. But that, I, but I think that's part of the model. It's like you come in, you play the guitars. They have acoustic guitars in there, electric guitars in there for multiple thousands of dollars. Might not, be, I can't afford it, but you'll let me play it? Cool. <laughs> I, I, I did a video before but I used to do this all the time. This, this, that's not nothing new. I used to go all the time before I had a YouTube channel. I would go into the guitar center. They usually have in one of the rooms, they usually have a little setup where you have a computer and a MIDI keyboard and they just let you, you know, I mean, I don't know if they let you, but you know, if you know how to open up reason and you know how to connect the keyboard and you know how to add and you can go through and check out all the VSTs that they have installed in that computer. And I would go in and I would just make beats and I would just be in there making beats. People come by, oh, that's dope, that's tight. Or people will come by and be like, can you turn that off? Like whatever the case is, but Guitar Center, man, that's home. That's, that's the place. I go to Guitar Center when I don't feel like the best, like when I don't feel my best self, if I don't feel like, I just need like, like, you know how that feeling like it's like, man, I need some ice cream or like, I don't know. I don't, I, I, depression, I guess might be called. I don't know. But when I don't feel my best or if I don't, if I just need a little extra joy, it's like going to Toys R Us when you were a kid. It's like, you just want to see all of the stuff. That's where I go. I go to Guitar Center and probably the other place, probably like Best Buy. Cause I just like looking at all of the tech and I like looking at all of the instruments and I like how they allow you to play the instruments or they, 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 maybe it's not like allow you to do it, but they tolerate you. <laughs> they tolerate you playing the instruments. You know, I've made so many beats in guitar center. My brother, uh, my brothers went to the mall to pick up girls and I went to guitar center. <laughs> That's that's another one of those things is like, OK, you know, we all going out. It's like everybody go to their perspective places. We go to like back in, you know, go to Walmart or something. They go do their shopping. I'm going straight to the electrics, uh, uh, the electronics department. They might not have nothing new or something I ain't seen, but that's what I want to be around. I just like the stuff. Sometimes I just be over there looking at extension cords because I'm just like, I don't know. I just something about if it plugs into a wall, if it plugs into a. Uh, display if it has a computer chip if it has anything has to do anything with that i'm drawn to it so i just always want to go there man i just always want to go there we need to do a live together making a beat posting i'm down we gotta we gotta figure out the logistics of that me and Fro me and mr frosty beast was talking about that too like going live making a beat together we were talking about that too i know that there's a way that we can do it we gotta figure out the logistics about it though and then i'm down so like, man, I hope y'all are enjoying the stream, man. Um, you know, how long we go is, is depending upon how, how lucky I am today <laughs> with the time, with the time situation. This is the, this is the most time that I've been able to pull away, um, you know, since life, uh, has been happening. Uh, YouTube is not maintaining enough stream health is down getting a lot of drop frames why are we dropping frames all you need is satellite plug-in what's satellite plug-in what is that what's satellite plug-in i like how you and ryan went uh live the beat making just sending the session back and forth i like that too that was that was fun too that was fun too that was fun i like that i like that it got to it got to a point where it was like stream seems good now it, it seemed like it's just bouncing back and forth because i because i act like i don't know how live streams work like if you have good settings don't change your settings before you're about to go live that that's like a rule you know uh if you have good settings don't change your settings before you're about to go live and that's exactly what i did so it is what it is 
uh, uh, um, yeah. Cause, um, usually, usually I go, usually I put my camera in 1080p and right now it's in 4k. And then I, I changed my settings in OBS for 4k as well. So it's just really pushing to the limit. It's just pushing, pushing, pushing to the limit, pushing to the limit, pushing to the limit. I've been everywhere, yeah, searching for someone, looking for somebody, looking for someone. Been everywhere. That ain't even that song, but it's Rihanna. I think I might, I think, I think, I think, uh, I think we get into some beats before time runs out. 63% says amazing. So that means more people are liking it than not. And that's a good thing. So I'm glad to see people are feeling like it's not just going to be, um, it's not just going to be, a. It's not just going to be hype. Um, you can share your session with any DAW satellite sessions plug in. I never heard of that. Satellite sessions plug in. Mixed in key. I never heard of that. I've been everywhere. Searching for someone. Looking for somebody. Looking for someone. I've been everywhere. I've been everywhere, I've been everywhere, where have you been, cause I wanna see you around, are you hunting for me, somewhere in the crowd, you've been all my life. Where have you been all my life? Where have you been all my life? Hey, Eldre. I agree with you, Frosty. I believe that him has has changed the game believe he has changed the game for sure so let's check out this satellite plugins real quick so we got download for mac download for windows announces welcome to satellite plugins 2.0 okay y'all loud though i don't know why, why y'all so loud about it why you why you so loud about it though count and open your door of choice i'm in ableton live as satellite sessions there's a vst or au instrument plugin on a blank new midi channel this is your project hub. All audio and MIDI tracks that get shared in the session will be added to it. Every participant in the session will see and hear the exact same stems in their own satellite sessions plugin. Glacier Rays and other DAWs. Reason is other DAWs. And other DAWs, we're the and other DAWs. Ableton Live Logic. I mean, it's so disrespectful. Oh my gosh. Why are they so disrespectful? <laughs> they not talking about reason. They talking about they talking about Reaper. They talking about Cubase. <laughs> they 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 talk about something else. They talk about reason. The reason is in there. It's just it's just blue. They they forgot to change the font. It's over here. They forgot to change the font from white to blue. Reason is in there. Reason not in and other dolls. They they not and other dolls. That's not reason. That's not reason. I don't care what nobody say. Next. 
Add satellite audio to any audio channel that you want to share. Satellite audio is record enabled by default, so don't turn that button off. It should be illuminated red. The corresponding channel in satellite sessions will also be lit up red. This means satellite sessions is ready to receive whatever audio you now play into your satellite audio enabled channel. I have added satellite audio as an insert on Captain Beat's MIDI channel. Pressing play in my door instantly tells satellite plugins to capture the audio output. Pressing stop ceases recording in satellite plugins. You can add any additional audio you like by adding satellite audio to the corresponding channel. This includes VST instruments and external devices such as hardware synths, guitars, vocals, you name it. I'm going to record a simple chord progression played on my Korg Minilog XD. To do this, I add satellite audio to an audio channel. This time, it's an, it's external, an external audio, audio channel. channel. For external instruments, please ensure your door is set to input monitor. Okay, it's a vibe. Okay, okay it's, a vibe. it's a vibe. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. I see what I they're see doing. What they're doing. So, so, Ryan, Ryan hit, hit me to, me to another, another, uh, another another VST. VST. You, you have you to have, have a, a you have you to have, have, have a, a um, an, account an account with him. With him. But, but there's, there's another, another one called Audio, Audio Movers. Movers. Listen, Listen to. to. Not, not exactly, exactly the same. Oh, of course, not exactly the same. It's nowhere near the same. Um. But, but let me see. Let me see. Audio, Audio movers, movers is cool, is cool because, because you can. You can um, um, what am I trying, I'm trying to do over here? here? You can, you can let, let people, people hear, hear your, your session. session, so they so can, they can hear, hear your audio. audio. Oh, I'm oh, double, 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 double. Boop. Okay, now we now we should be good. My bad. Audio movers is cool. You can hear the session. So, like, if you have the same, you can have the same. If both people have the same VST, then you can hear uh, what the other person is playing. But that's not the same. What they're doing over here is they're creating a whole other doll. It's like a secondary doll window, essentially, that will capture the MIDI, that will capture the audio, that will capture the whole session. So, yeah, I mean, shut up and take my money. Is it free? all right it's downloaded so i will i'll install that and then i'm i'm a i'll install that and then i'll share that somebody you know you guys install it and then let's try to uh link up and see if we can if we can work on something it won't be in in this stream it won't be today because that's a bunch of stuff i gotta do to set up but uh <laughs> uh but we can try that out Bro, we can test. I'm I'm down, Frosty. So we have to link up and and do a test run. Post and we gotta link up and do a test run. He he said he already downloaded it. So Frosty already downloaded it. Post and downloaded, downloaded him, him downstairs. Uh uh helped us out. Now Post and also mentioned another software called Rip. Is it Rip Beat? Let me see this real quick. Rip beat. You heard a rip. You have have you heard a rip beat? Is it a plugin? No. No. Maybe let's try it all together as one word. Rip beat. Where have you been all my life? I, I, I. No, that's a person. Okay, so they need to work on. If Rip Beat is a software, they need to work on their branding because that name is too many things come up when you type in Rip Beat. So can't find that. But definitely um, Satellite Plugins by Mixed In Key. What else Mixed In Key got? That's, oh, look at this tab. I want to click this real quick. Hold on, it says, why is it free? COVID-19 is tough on everyone, and we wanted to make collab easier and safer for musicians so more music can still get made together. So we decided to make a free version of Satellite Plugins for everyone to enjoy. Well, thank you. Thank you, Mixed and Key. Thank you, Mixed and Key. We appreciate you for that. Mixed and Key. And you could, it's 2023, and yes, it's still out there. 
it's it's still out there. We we're not out the clear, and I don't want y'all don't don't get on y'all don't get on y'all soapbox because I'm not into soapboxes. I, I don't I don't I'm not I'm not gonna go through I'm not gonna go there with y'all. But I'm just saying that to say between 20, 2022, between twenty twenty and twenty twenty two. Y'all could have kept it free, but I think right now y'all could be running it up. <laughs> y'all could be running it up on people because that's some good software that people can get into. Um, You know, but hey, it's still free because, you know, will we ever we have a permanent free tier with very limitations. There will be a paid pro level for satellite eventually. But if you want to help support, please buy Captain Plugin. <laughs> Okay, let's check out Captain Plugins. What? What is this? 96,000 core progressions, five connected plugins. Uh, I've never heard of 250 plus built in instruments, 6,000 baselines, 600 plus baseline styles, Captain Chords, Captain Melodies, Captain Deep, Captain Beat, Captain Play. All right. All right. Well, all right. Well, mixed in key. Got some stuff mixed in key studio edition. I never I don't think I've ever heard of these of these good of these good kind folks providing us with these great, great uh, software and things. I don't think I've heard of them before, but him downstairs. Thank you so much. Shout out to you. If I had a little soundboard, I play like a little applause sound effect or something but i don't <laughs> but I, I don't i don't currently have that capability let me see can i make it let's make it and and, and uh and just be fun with it let me see i'm doing right here this is my stream deck application let's see oh they have a store where you can i don't have to buy it There we go. There we go. There we go. Give me that. How do I download it? All right, y'all. Y'all making it too hard. I just had to go into my own library and find it. It's okay. I got. I got some sound effects in here somewhere. Somewhere in this vast library, I got some sound effects we can. We can use. We can make our own little sound effect board. Let me see this. Where have you been all my life? Burn, 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 Applause. Am I not spelling applause correctly? Do I not know how to spell? Applause? Yeah, that is how you spell applause. What? Come on, y'all. Oh, you know what? Let's put crowd. Crowd surfing. Oh, that's a beat that I have. Oh, cool. Crowd surfing beat. I'm in the wrong folder, I think. Well, anyway, as y'all watch me search through all of this stuff, if you guys haven't hit the like button, I appreciate it. If y'all hit the like button, thanks for coming through to the stream. I appreciate all of y'all good folks. If you up in here and you have not dropped into the chat, make sure you drop into the chat, man. We want to see you. We want to, we want to, we want to celebrate you. We want to, we want to hang out with you. Okay. Don't just be a lurker. Oh, my phone just died. Okay. For sure. Don't just be a lurker in the chat. A little voyeur, you little voyeur, you, you little lurking in the in the bushes you little lurker in the bushes you don't just be a lurker okay come hang out with us i applause i applause i applause applause there we go boardroom applause okay
No. I like that one. Let's do that one real quick. Okay, now let me see if if I if I press the button. Jacob, what's good, man? If I press the button on my stream deck, you guys should hear it. Well, it played through, but I didn't hear it play through. I didn't hear it play through anywhere else. What's focus? Oh, it's the cam link. I don't want that. I want this. Let me see. I've been everywhere looking for someone. Okay, now let's try it. Okay. I'm just I'm just working in this uh I'm just working in this uh play stop. Yeah, I shouldn't even have to do that. Where have you been all my life? Okay, let's add that in there. Okay, now it worked. Cool. Sweet. It worked. But I'm trying to figure out how come this is not in there. Let me see. Audio output capture. And then set it to speakers. Let's see. It should work now. There we go. I like that. I, I should have been said something like that up. Hold on real quick. Let me see. Oh, my screen then froze. Okay, cool. Thanks, frozen screen. I should have been implemented that into my live stream sessions here. Could have been implemented that in. I hear a car approaching. We finna say goodbye. I hear a car approaching. Hey, man, shout out to all of y'all out there watching the stream, man. You guys are awesome, man. I appreciate y'all, man. Round of applause. Yes, yes. Round of applause to you guys, man. I need to add in some more sound effects. This is kind of cool. Let's add in some more sound effects. up here. <laughs> Let's add in some more sound effects up here, man. It's kind of cool. I like that. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Let me see something. Let me see some. Let me see. Let me see some. What other kind of sound effects y'all got up in here? Most popular. That's cool. Oh. Little. Little sound effects up in here. That one's cool. Let me switch back there. I can see what I'm doing. Man, what I'll be going through. Yeah, that's just, that's too much. We don't need all that. No, no, no. We don't want no instrumentals. No. I don't want no instrumentals. Then y'all be over here trying to get, get me a band from YouTube and stuff. Don't need nothing like that. I think a clap is cool. Um... Let me see. What if what if I put like celebration? <laughs> ah! All right, all right, all right, all right. We done with that. We done with that. We done with that. Let me see. I'm gonna just find. I'm going I'm to get an 808 from my 808 thing, and then I'm going to just add that in. And maybe we use that like a little drop or something. Have you been working on EDM lately, Jacob? I have been working on a lot of stuff. I've been working, 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 being really, really busy. So um, my video company is Hamilton Inspired Media. So like I'm, I'm wearing this because I was out doing some photography and some video today. So I was doing photography and video today. So... 
um, working on that, do, doing video editing. Of course, we do YouTube uh, tutorials. Um, and I've gotten to the point where the only time I'm really able to work on something, appreciate you, Frosty Beats. Only time I'm able to work on something like music is if I'm creating something for YouTube or a tutorial. So um, I I do also I'll share I'll share that with you. I do also have um, for a company that I do uh, some video editing for. Um, they're a, a fitness group, and the the fitness group I created some some dance music for them for their videos. So I, I have been working on a little bit of EDM uh, for that purpose of creating those dance videos and whatnot. So that has been a lot of fun as well. Um, so yeah, a little bit of EDM. Uh, how would you say you balance music and work? Uh, I've tried my hardest to balance it by making music work, by making music work. That was the first way that I tried to balance it by making music work. So if it was something, that's why I got into YouTube. That's why I got into working with Reason Studios um, and trying to like sell beats and selling beats was like something that was like cool, but it just didn't, it didn't, it, it didn't do what it needed to do at the time when it was needing to be doing what it needed to do for the time. <laughs> now, um, as of right now, yeah, if it's not something that is like generating something for me, it's kind of hard for me to really dive into it too deeply. So that's pretty much how it's been. It's, it's really just been what I can get done or what I can what I can do and work with. It has to be in conjunction with something else. So if I'm working on music, I'm usually working on something for a client or I'm working on something for a video or I'm working on something for um, what's the other thing? I'm working on something for a, uh, what's the thing I'm trying to say, y'all? Uh, a video or I'm working on something for YouTube, a tutorial or something like that. So that's usually, that's usually what, uh, we work in. You guys are good. Y'all don't have to shush. Yeah, I don't have to shush. It's all good. Yeah, I'm live. We live, baby. All right, you want to come say hi to the live stream? Look, you coming into the garage now. You 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 getting real close. You get you you get real close to where people gonna see you. They can't see you now. Look, you want to be seen? I'll turn the camera. My mother-in-law here, y'all. <laughs> she says hello. They say hi, family. Um, so I got a little. Okay, we got a little. Uh, we got a little. A little 808, a little 808 drum we can play for sound effects. A little clap. <laughs> Super dope. All right, cool. So, um, and maybe we see, maybe if we get more, like posting, posting is, is a real good brother, man. I appreciate him for dropping the Super Chat. I, I can pretty much name the folks that have uh, helped out with uh, Super Chats in the past. Um, if more people... Uh, drop some super chats, then I guess I can set it up to where I like make a little sound and do all that stuff when we get some super chats and stuff. You need a welcome sound. Yeah, like what? Like what? Like somebody just saying welcome or like something to like invite people in. Like what do you mean by a welcome sound? Because yeah, I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. Let me see. Let's move this guy up here. We we'll move you down here. And these will be our little. This would be our little uh, sound. This would be our little sound situation. Is somebody saying, welcome. Welcome. Oh, like for when people come into the chat and like when they come in and they, they just coming in for the first time or something. I like that. We could find something like that. Let's see. Let's see if they have something like that. Uh, welcome. We'll see if they have anything like that up in here. Welcome. I like that. I don't know. I don't know. That voice, you know, that female voice. I don't know if I can. I don't know. My, might need to find like an old lady saying welcome or something like that. I don't want to get in trouble. Have you ever thought about making and selling reason patches? Not sure if you do that already or no. Well, the one thing I can say on that side of thing. Um, one thing I can say on that side of things, I do have. I do have a Reason sound pack um, in the Reason companion store. Um, 
And that was a collaboration that I did with Reason. So classic R&B vibrations is what that is called. So, you know, that's like what I mean. Like maybe one day I'll make like a business and and like a content creator business YouTube video or something where where it goes like, oh, here's how you can make money as a music producer outside of selling your beats or something like that. Right. So I have it here. I have the uh, classic R&B vibration sound pack. Um, it's in the reason reason companion sound pack. So this is mine uh, by Chris Reed Beats. I actually got uh, commissioned to do another sound pack. I was supposed to be working on that. And then you know, time, um, you know, life happened. So, uh, if that's still available, then that's still an avenue for, you know, generating some income. Uh, he says, Oh, I have those. Yeah, you do. (laughs) You do. You do have those. Um, so let me see. I don't know if it'll play on here or not. So with this pack, what you get in this pack, and and that was another thing too. I, I've said it before on my live stream. Um, it was a lot of work putting this sound pack together in terms of like the stipulations and in terms of the the um like what was required, what was um asked of me. It was it was a lot of work, and um. I just had to balance I had to balance the idea of the work that goes into doing it and, you know, what comes out of it. And so at the time, it was just kind of like I couldn't balance doing another one right away. Um, I do have some other things happening, but at the time, it was just kind of it was just kind of hard to do. So I but but I'll give a. a so I, I did like a custom monotone bass right here. So that's the custom monotone bass. Let me put my headphones on real quick. And um, for some of the key for some of the keys, uh, they should be, um, they have chord sequencers in them. Um, let me see. It doesn't, it doesn't sound how I remember it sounding. Dr. Guy Guillermo, what's good? I saw, yeah, I, I kind of agree with you. I really do like that pillow pad, man. And pillow pad essentially is just, you guys, let me know that that sound is coming through good too. Pillow pad is a uh, ID8 strings orchestral strings um and i just did some some reverb and some channel eq some automation with uh the audiomatic uh retro transformer just some different stuff is it it might be because it's loud if it's a little distorted it might just be because it's loud so i'll go over here i'll turn this guy down a little bit and I just got to make sure nothing else is on. We did have a lot of stuff coming. We had a lot of stuff going on up in here, up in here, up in here. We had a lot of stuff going on. Look, we got all kind of windows open and stuff.
how do you automate parameters in your songs? Like, what's your psychology behind it? Psychology behind automation in songs. Storytelling. Storytelling is the number one word that I would use when it comes to automation inside of songs. If you're talking about the psychology behind using automation, I would say that's one key is storytelling. So for example, there should be a way to automate the filter in this patch. Currently there is not, but there should be a way on this combinator. I must've changed it, who knows? But let's say I open up that filter and I right click and I go to edit automation and I'm gonna draw out some automation in here. So, you know, and then I'm also gonna be a little extra and we'll do a little something. I like the question as a good, good launching question for some like tutorial. So thank you so much for that, for that question. So let's just go up in here real quick and I'm gonna just set something up so that you guys can kind of see what I'm saying in terms of story. Okay, so we're gonna set up some blocks. So we're gonna set up an intro block. We're gonna set up a verse block. We're gonna set up a course and pre-course block. And then we'll probably set up like an ending block, right? Uh, course, pre-course, pre-course, and then outro. Okay. And then probably, you know, for funsies, let's set up a bridge. So we'll set up a bridge. No one uses bridges in music anymore, but I'll set the bridge up anyway. Even though nobody uses bridges, but I'll set up the bridge anyway. So let's look at this right here. Oh, wait, this way. So let's look at this. Let's look at this right here. So if I have this intro section right here, and then my next section is going to be, you know, a nice long verse section that's happening. And then I'm going to have my little pre-course, a little pre-course section. And then I'm going to have my full on course section. Now I want to talk to you about, and, 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 and uh, Dr. Guy, don't disappear now because you asked this question. So make sure you drop something in the chat so I know you're still watching because you asked this question, okay? Now listen, if I'm telling a story with automation, then the beginning of my story with the filter is probably going to start somewhere like this. It's going to start low. So my filter is very low. When I get to the verse, I probably want to build some of that filter up. Not a whole lot but some of it, I want to build some of that up, right? So maybe we go instead of here, we bring it up to here. Okay. So the verse has a little less filter, um, than what the intro had. When I get to this pre-course, I'm going to start rising. Okay. And then by the time I get to the course, I should have full automation happening. So like that would be like story for me. When I say creating a story um, with automation, that would be like my story that I just created. And I'll kind of like break it down for you in terms of like, in terms of story, right? In terms of story. Oh, 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 let's let's come back over here for our, and let's just put an outro here. Right. In terms of story, typically this is what a storyline will look like. This is what a storyline will look like. You have the uh, intro, right? You have the intro section of the story. Let me put this storyline on a real quick story, a storyline map. You have your, I'm just trying to think of the action. It's like the uh, exposition. Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. Yeah, we're going back to, we're going back to school now, y'all. So you got the exposition. That's the intro of the beat, right? The intro of the beat, that's the exposition. Things are building up. Things are just kind of happening in the, in the beginning. It's not really a lot happening. But through the verse, there's what's called rising action. So this rising action is like the automation is rising. And, and maybe, maybe we actually do something like this where it's like, you know, kind of, kind of shaky because things are shaky, but just notice when we get to the pre-course, it's like a continual graph of rising 
energy, you know, and that's the rising action feeling that we want in a story. As the story builds, you kind of want that feeling to progress, like more stuff is happening. And then you get to the climax. And for our song here, for this demonstration, the course or the hook would be like the climax of the song. And it just kind of resolves around until we finish the song. And so when you listen to it, like a lot of EDM, it happens like that too. It happens like that in the EDM songs where there's this section. Y'all leaving again? Bye. It's this section of the song where things are building up. And then you re when you get to that rise, that top, that's what you want to hear. You want to hear, you know, the fullness of the pad, you know, or you want to hear the fullness of the synth right there at the climax, right? So that's my idea. And then, of course, this would repeat a couple times or whatever. You add in your bridge or whatever. And then for the outro, yeah, you might you might tailor off that filter so that it kind of calms down. And, you know, you have what's called falling action. So this is the falling action. It's coming to the resolution or the conclusion of the song. Do you add automation on everything when the knobs on your reverbs, et cetera? Where do they stop? No. Um, so let's keep going with this thought process and everything like that. So that's, I probably just did a whole bunch of extra talking and stuff that I didn't need to do, but y'all know me. I love to just talk and explain stuff. Um, when I am creating, I might use, it, de it really depends on what I'm going for in the track. There might be just one section of the song where there's a lot of automation happening. Um, there might be a, a time where it's like, okay, I got five different synths and I want all of them to do this wobble effect, or I want all of them to have this modulation. So right here in this area, you know, going from the verse to the pre-course, there might be like a ton more automation lanes happening just in that section. Right. Um, sometimes, sometimes I'll create different different automations like pans and stuff like that so like i might have it where it's like this so it's like um here's a, like a a pan that just keeps going on and on and on it's just going left right left right left right so we just have that going that might happen through the whole song in terms of, of the automation that might happen to the whole song now i don't do things like some other people like some people say for example if this if this if this is our radical piano and, you know, we're in the course and the radical piano is in the course, some people might do an automation and they might, you know, turn it down there because they know, OK, cool. When we get to the pre-course, we want to bring that back in. So that's how they do that automation. Right. Some people will do that. Like if you're using the boards if you're mixing with those like SSL consoles, you might have seen Dr. Dre. They do stuff like that. They do what's called riding the faders and they'll kind of map out the entire song going up and down on the faders. It records that in and then you get the sound that you want because he was riding the faders. That would be like riding the faders with this automation, for example. Right. So you just would have this kind of feeling of like, oh, look, the faders going up because we're here at the pre-course. But then we want it to go up even more when we get to the course. We want it to go up more. So now it's up more. And then for the outro, uh, tell me if this is making sense, if this is what you're asking me. Then, you know, for the outro, we want to go down. I don't do this. I don't do stuff like this. I use automation sparingly and in the places that I really want something to happen. I really want a change to happen. I don't just use automation like, oh, OK, let's just use a bunch of automation. Or let's automate the things like let's ride the faders like I don't necessarily do that. What I do is I use the automation sparingly. So but in, in the same in the same idea, that's why I'm glad I set it up like this with the intro verse pre course course, because you are telling a story with your automation, too. If you have a bunch of automation in the intro. You know, maybe that's because you want to create some tension. You want to create some energy, some movement uh, inside of your beat. So that's why you put a bunch of in a bunch of automation there, but you also could use automation to create a change over time. So as we go from the intro to the outro, we, we heard the filter changing 
all throughout the beat. We could hear that everything was changing throughout the beat. It just wasn't stagnant in one place or the other because it changed throughout the beat, right? So like if we was playing this, if we was playing this pillow pad. Okay, cool. So we got pillow pad. Look, the filter is increasing. You could create like a soundscape like this, right? So that that could kind of be like what we're using in order to create a story to tell a story to kind of create some movement and some mood we're using this automation in order to be able to do that and it's just happening automatically as opposed to us going in and tweaking it and changing it one by one i hope that makes sense i hope that answers your question i do accept tips <laughs> Um, I'm going to go take a bathroom break, guys. I will be right back. All right. Don't, don't leave me. I'm going to be very sad if I come back and you guys are gone. Okay. Don't, don't leave me here. I come. So before we left to do our quick bathroom break, I saw that there was a question that came in from Dr. Guy. Still asking more automation questions. Appreciate you. Is there such thing as too much automation? Here is the answer to that question. No, there's not a such thing as too much automation. What there could be, though, is that you're not utilizing other features or other functions that could help you instead of doing so much automation, you could be doing modulation or you could be using LFOs to create the effect that you want instead of doing so much automation. 
So that's what I would say about too much automation or not too much automation. So for example, in this patch that I created, Pillow Pad, I use a pulsar. A pulsar. Pulsar. I forgot y'all could still see me digging in my ear. I use a pulsar. <laughs> and what the pulsar does is it uses a sine wave and it's going at 8.4. And it, I believe, what is it changing? It's connected to the Audiomatic Retro Transformers Transform. So I could hit edit automation on the Audiomatic Retro Transformer and then I could draw in the automation. But what I decided to do was use this LFO from Pulsar and use that to trigger this CV modulation. <clears throat> so that's what I mean. Sometimes you might want to use modulation. Sometimes you want to use LFO. Sometimes you want to create something else. Instead of so much automation, you could use something else. So that would be how I would answer that. So it's not really a matter of like too much automation, but it also really depends on what you're trying to accomplish. Like, what are you trying to accomplish with your automation? So a lot of people go on like the Facebook groups for a reason, like the reason Facebook groups and forums, and they show their reason sound files. They show like their their windows because they want you to see all of the work that they did. And that's really cool. So if that is what you're trying to do, if that's what you want to do, if you want to create this masterpiece of automation and windows and clips and stuff like that. Totally fine. That's that's super cool. You could you could definitely do that. And you put the time and work and effort into doing that and then that would be your your thing. If it's a music thing, if it's about getting a sound, yeah, you just have to ask yourself, is there an easier way to do this or should I just do it through automation? Also, I guess I don't know if many people would run into that on my earlier PCs I would run into getting an error that would say like automation over like it's like basically the computer can't keep up with all of the automations that I'm doing. So it's like, oh, it's too much automation or whatever. And so like that became a problem. Right. So if you're getting error messages from reason and it's telling you your your computer can't keep up, then that might be a sign of too much automation. Sure. Uh, and I really like the conversation as I drink a gallon of water. I like the conversation that's happening in here between Jacob, Mike and Frosty uh, helping our guy, Mr. Guy, Dr. Guy um, with their questions about automation. Chris, do you think it's beneficial to read through the reason manual or not really? Um. Dr. Guy, I want to get to that question, too, because now now I think now I'm hearing something different than what you're asking. I, I like the questions. Um, I think it's beneficial. I think it's beneficial to read the manual anytime you are stuck or anytime you have a question about something, anytime you feel like, man, it's so many it's so many instruments and so many effects and I'm looking at these instruments and man, I never really got deep into Thor. Like I never really like checked out what Thor was all about. That might be a time for you to go to the manual, go to the manual, read through and see all of the stuff that it says. I never understood this whole, how does this source source amount? What is, what does all of this even mean? It just looks like hieroglyphics. It's, it just kind of just looks like so much stuff is happening. Go to the manual. That's when I think it's most beneficial when you're focusing in on something. Do I think you need to like sit down and just be like, right, I'm going to read the entire manual front to back. I'm going to read through every instrument. No, I don't think you need to, especially not if you're like if you're not like me, like somebody that's doing tutorials. I'll be honest with you. Every single time I did one of those videos for the A to Z tutorials, every time that I did one of y'all, let me drop this little truth bomb real quick. Every time that I did, I, I like that, but we need something better than that. Every time I did one of those, 
I went to the manual on whatever it was that I was talking about that day before I did the video. I put research into it so that I made sure that what I was talking about made sense. When I did the video, my, my highest growing most um, my, my the video on my channel that has done the, the most views and 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 um, the most views and the most um, like people gravitating to it and like responses comments everything like that according the, the, to the video that did the best on my channel thus far is this video right here have we been using reason wrong this entire time and that came from me reading the manual that came oh i gotta actually switch over my screen this video came about from me reading this is literally a screenshot of reasons manual this video came about me reading Reasons Manual. I wasn't trying to create clickbait, clickbait, which I think some people feel like I did. I wasn't trying to create, I was trying to create curiosity for sure. I was trying to create curiosity and get people to like watch something and, you know, see what you thought, you know, but I had never read this section of the manual and I thought it was interesting. I had been doing a lot of conversations and tutorials about the mixing section in reason and about leveling and about what is what is you know ppm and what is rms and i was trying to just learn more about reasons mixer and about their metering and i just came across this on the control room at the time i hadn't been using the control room either i had learned that you could use the control room essentially as another master out and so whenever you hear me <laughs> Whenever you hear me playing something on my keyboard or my DAW, you're hearing that come from the control room out, this thing up here. And I learned it. I learned about what that was. One, because I was curious. I was like, what is this control room out? What is that? Why is it different from the master out? What 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 is that? How come these cables are blue? Those cables are red. Like I was just, I was just curious. I was just curious about it. And because I was curious about it, I went to the manual and I said, huh, let me read the manual and find out what this control room section is and what it's about. And when I read this line that says reason is saying that you're supposed to be using it for your monitoring and not the master out. That just gave me like something to talk about. I was like, oh, maybe we've been actually using it wrong this entire time. Maybe we would get more benefit out of our mixing and out of our leveling if we use the control room out versus using the master out to monitor our music. Maybe it's just another one of those geeky topics that only the reason freaks would really care about. Only people that are truly dedicated to the software and understand the SSL modeling that's happening there and would understand real world modeling of these different rack instruments and stuff. Maybe those people would be the only people that actually understood it. And so we made the video. It has been my most popular video thus far it has 16,000 views right now and it all came about from me reading the manual so is there some value in reading a manual absolutely because you definitely will learn from their perspective how you're supposed to use stuff or what was in their mind for like why they created this instrument this way or why they have the routing this certain way and also stuff like little tips and tricks and tools um little shortcuts that you don't get from the shortcut window inside of reason different things like that you learn from the manual and so that's where it could be good for you to find you know look at the manual um where would one find the manual so there's a couple ways uh that you can find it first of all if you come up here to help there's definitely a way you can find it from here in the help menu i'm pretty sure um let me see documentation and PDF. I think it's this one. Yes. So if you go just follow the steps I just did. Oh, I, well, I hear the baby, y'all. If you go up here to help and in documentation and PDF format, this is where you can find the uh, manuals and everything. So here's reason 12.5 installation manual. 
operation manual, rack plugin manual, key commands, MIDI implementation chart. So here's all of the different documentation that you can find uh, for there. And it, they update it. So as they update the uh, as they update the manual, <clears throat> as they update the different uh, uh as they update the software, they update the manual. So this is uh, the manual. And it's cool because they, they do have everything. It's all hyperlinked. So this is one of the things we're going to do a video on next is the tool window. So if you go, so like like I just did, here, here's the table of contents. You go to the table of contents. All of these are hyperlinks. So you could look through it. You could also like, huh, I have a question about Mimic. And then you could like, hit control F and you could search and find mimic. And then you can just boom, click that. And it just takes you through the entire like mimic situation and shows you everything about mimic that you could ever need to know, or, you know, what you need to know, uh, you know, based upon what you find from there. So like, it's, it's cool in that way, you know, it's a manual, whatever, <laughs> but I do like that. Everything is, is highlighted and, and, and hyperlinked and it is a, it's a ton of uh, it's a ton of pages. It's a ton of stuff. Somebody said a thousand. It's more than a thousand, buddy. Look at this. Look at this. Key commands. Look at that. Look at look at the key commands. Look, you can find all of the different stuff. Maximize main mixer and rack in one window. Okay, I did not know that you could do. That's what I'm saying. Like, I didn't know that you could press both keys together. I didn't know that that was something you could do. Let me um, let me go to our application zoom, go 100%. So if you press F7, it will go to sequencer. F6, it will go to rack. F5, it'll go to mixer. If you press them together, then it will give you those split screens. Wow. Wow. See what I mean? But I didn't know that off top. I knew that if you... If you uh if you like double click like this, if you just double click like that, whatever, eventually it'll it'll show you. But if you press them together, it'll show whichever ones you press together. So F5 is the mixer, F7 is the sequencer. If you press them both together, then it shows them both together like that. Look look at that. Look at that there. So yes, to answer your question, it definitely is um, beneficial to read the manual, and you should definitely check the manual out. If you have the chance. Okay, I got one more question uh, that I can get to. Um, it says, we lost Mike's question again. What was the question? What did we miss? <clears throat> we lost Mike's question. Did I, did I start talking too much? But it was another question about David Banner's like a pimp. Like a pimp. Real girls get down on the floor, on the floor. Real girls get down on the floor, on the floor, like up him. Mike, re put your question in again. I wanted to get the Dr. Guy's question about um, automation in that beat. Trap beats, hip hop beats, it's not going to be a lot of automation in those beats in general. It's just not. It's not going to be a ton of automation in those beats. You want it to be repetitive, especially like trap beats, especially like those beats from David Banner. You want it to be repetitive and you want the lyrics to shine through. So it's not a lot of automation. For that matter, I think two words. It's two words. One is automation, but the other is like sequencing. So sequencing your beat is different from automation. Automation is when you're taking a certain parameter and you're changing it over time or you're changing it, uh, you're, you're changing something about it. Sequencing is where you're actually like laying out the song. You're layering out the different songs to different parts. So if we're looking, for example, at like how we how we how we set up our window here with intro, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, outro. How we're looking at that, we can just delete some of this. We can just delete all of it. Matter of fact, I think like a pimp, um, like a pimp is probably like verse like this, and then course. That's it. 
And the section that's coarse doesn't have, it's not changing a lot. What changes in the course is the lyrics. The verse is the verse people are rapping. In the course, it just changes to what it, the like a pimp. So there's, it's not automation and it's it's sequencing. There's just not a lot that's changing. You just got a whole bunch of verse. Like there's no intro. The intro is just the part of the beat that doesn't have verse, like doesn't have lyrics on it. But it's the same in the intro as it is in the verse. It's not a lot of stuff that changes. It's the drums. It's a melody, which is like the marimba melody. Boop, 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 boop. It's the drums, the melody, the 808. That's it. And it just repeats. So that's sequencing. Should you have more complex sequencing in your music, especially today? Probably. You probably should have, you know, you know, different parts of your verse. Like you have like that verse. And then, you know, maybe even just like a small section of something different right there. And then back to your verse, you know, like a lot of people have a lot of people have this kind of format this kind of sequencing where it's like the verse and then something different happens and then you go right back into the verse. Right. Or it, it or it feels like the intro, like, like there's a couple songs where it starts with, uh, it starts with the intro, say it start with the intro like this. And then it goes verse, right. Verse, verse, and then course. So this is just like, how things are sequenced verse verse course and then this would repeat so it'd be like uh, they would repeat the intro like there's a lot of rick ross sound songs that have that structure that 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 sequencing where it's like rick ross and like young jeezy feels like it feels like young jeezy like um you gotta believe you gotta believe you ain't never seen them pause. I'm talking so much white, it'll hurt your eyes. I really live it, man. Count so much paper, it'll hurt your hand. So that's course. But then when the verse ends, it goes back to the it, it, when the verse ends. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I put the I put the course here. When the verse ends, it goes back to the intro, and then it does the course. That's how that's how that Young Jeezy song goes. It goes like intro. Drops into the verse and then it kind of goes back to the intro where it's like the sounds like kind of drop out. You don't hear all of the sounds. It kind of goes back to this intro. Then he said he does the course, which is like small like this, like a very small course. And then he goes back to the verse. That's song structure. That's sequencing. That's like, oh, OK, you know, having a different flow, a different vibe than most songs, because a lot of songs like four bar intro. Then you got your verse, then you got your course, then you got your verse, then you got your course, then you got a bridge, then you got your course repeated two times, and now the song is done. Like, that's a very traditional sequencing. But a lot of producers have changed. They've changed up those sequ sequencing. They've changed up those sequencing, man. Um, my suggestion was, how about reviewing roasting subscriber music in the live stream maybe some time frame within your usual stream it's pretty popular these days i bet it attracts more subs uh, i think somebody else sub suggested this as well like people come in and listen but here's the, like for me personally i'm down i'm down to do it mike i'm down for me like i don't i don't feel like my music is like like above reproach or like above opinion or like above like you know in any anybody else's thoughts so it would be hard for me to be like all right let's listen to this guy beat and he'd be like oh man this this is bad the level is bad the mix is bad like chris 80 percent of your beats is not mixed and the ones you did mix like <laughs> <laughs> that's a mix so it would just be like that i'm just thinking like that like i, I wouldn't want to be too critical but if it's all in fun and games um you know I'm, I'm definitely down with that i have done i think i've done in a total of like 200 live streams i probably did like two live streams where i like listened to other people music and kind of just vibed out with them and it wasn't a critique thing it wasn't a critique or like me being like, oh, this is whack or this is good. Just kind of just vibing out with them like, oh, thanks for, you know, sending in your music. So I'd be down for that.
for me, the mix, him downstairs, for me, the mix, it's not that it makes it sound worse. It just like, you ever see people like make them little, um, make them like ice sculptures and they just start off with like a block of ice and they take like the little chisels and chainsaws and stuff like that. So like, let's say me and Mr. Frosty Beast, for example, we both had an ice block and we was trying to make a duck. So we was going to carve out the ice block to make a duck. And this is our mixing process. I would get down to it and I would probably make like a duck. It would look like a duck. It would sound like a duck. It would quack like a duck. It would be a duck. And Mr. Frosty Beats, his would probably look like, you know, Disneyland Donald Duck. Like it would just be like so intricate and so like different than mine. So mine would just be like, yeah, it's a duck. Okay. I did the basics. I made sure that my EQ sounds good. I made sure that the bass and this is not clashing. It's a duck. I did the duck how the duck was supposed to look. But somebody else would be like, nah, we're just not going to make any duck. We're going to make mighty duck. You know what I'm saying? Like, so that's the difference, man. Like, I'll be like looking at the meters like, okay, yeah, yeah, the meters look good. Meters look good. But somebody else, you know, when they get into their mixing process, the way things sound, it's just like I can tell the difference between my mix and their mix. So for it's not that it's worse. It's just that, oh, it's mixed, but it's just it's still not sounding how those pro engineers sound when they mix beats. So that's the difference. That's that's how I look at it. That's how I think about it. <clears throat> Guess what, everybody? Did I did I put something here? Oh, I didn't put nothing there. Um, but I'm I'm down, Mike. I'm down, Mike. Next time I have an opportunity to do a live stream, and Mike, you better send something in too. Next time I have an opportunity to do a live stream, I'm gonna put that in the title, and we're gonna listen to uh, we're gonna listen to some stuff out there. We're gonna listen to some different people music. And we're going to vibe together. I'm down for it. Oh, no, he's here. He's here, Dr. Guy. He is here and, and causing trouble. <laughs> he is here and causing trouble, man. He's three weeks. He's three weeks and um, he's doing well. No, no, no problem. No problem. I, I, thank you for asking. He's here. He's doing well. He's blessed. We are blessed. Uh, we're blessed to have him. Um, and we are just, you know, new parents, you know, brand new um, for a long time. I had a lot of nieces and cousins and nephews. Um, and I was like changing their diapers, helping them, raising them. A lot of my friends all had kids. Some of them had kids like in high school. Some of them had kids like right out of high school. I was seeing it all around me. Um, and, you know, uh, it was it was it's it's a blessing because if you ask the doctors, this is the way that I always say, it. if you ask the doctors, the doctors was like this, not this not going to happen for y'all. Like, you know, it got to that point where it was like short of a miracle or short of some millions or short of adoption, this might not happen for you. So um, it's a blessing because it happened. So uh, it makes me feel, you know, really good. But also it's one of those things like you got to have gratitude. You got to be grateful. You got to be thankful because you just don't know how your life can change just from one day to the next. I'm like one day they were saying it's a no. And then the next day it's like, don't tell God. No, you have no business. You have no right telling God what he can and can't do. And, um, 
That's that's all I can say about it. That's exactly what happened. And so with much prayers and patience, he's here. Exactly. So we are we are we're also blessed to be together and married and uh, you know, no disrespect to anybody that has had a child with just like their girlfriend or boyfriend or, you know, they're not together. You know, people got baby mamas, baby daddies. No disrespect to any of y'all. It's definitely hard to raise a child on your own single parents. It's a blessing to have a two parent home. I grew up. I didn't experience that. I never experienced that having a two parent home. You know, it was me and my mom. And my dad was around. He was around more for me, you know, and that was a blessing. So having this two parent home, I can just see it. It's a difference. Frosty was asking me about sleep. It just makes a difference when I have her and she has me and she knows, okay, I'm just worn out. I'm tired. I'm through. But Chris is there. So then imagine if I wasn't there, like imagine if I was like, nah, I'm out. So that means something. Same thing with her. Like imagine if she, you know, if she wasn't there and it was just me, single dad or something like that. You get tired, you know, <laughs> it's work. Um, So shout out to you if you out there and you making it happen. You're stronger than you're stronger than most. You're stronger than, you know. Because it's definitely, you know, it definitely can take a lot out of you. Um, you're happy about it every minute of it, but you probably wouldn't trade that for having, you know, some help any day. So we get enough sleep. We get enough sleep. You know, we we uh we get enough sleep because we trade off who's going to be up till 3 a.m. tonight. <laughs> or like, you know, the moments where it's like, all right, we both sleep. All three of us sleep. And then he wake up. Okay. Which one of us? Okay. Rock, rock, papers. <laughs> Not for real, but you know, it's just like, all right, which one of us is going to get up to go get the bottle or, you know, to, you know, soothe them back to sleep, stuff like that. And so, um, it's, it's just great. It's just great, man. I thank you all for the congratulations. You guys are super dope. I thank you all for the support, for, you know, reaching out. Um, I'm thankful and grateful for the people that come to check out the live streams, to check out the beat tutorials, to hang out, to just hang out and just talk and just chop it up with your boy. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much for the congratulations for the love. I definitely will pass that on to my wife. If she's not watching, sometimes she just watch and she don't put nothing in the chat room. So if she's watching, um, I'll pass that on to her as well. She did all the work too, by the way. And I definitely was that dad with my camera. Y'all know <laughs> I do video and photography. So I definitely was that dad with my camera. I kid you not. Hold on. Let me get this. <laughs> I kid you not. I had this whole gimbal. I had this whole gimbal in the room with my camera like. <laughs> so now anytime I got the whole video. So now anytime people come over, you know, they come over to hang out and see the baby, any of the family members, stuff like that. They come over and they get to talking about it. And they be like, oh, that's so beautiful. Da, 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 da. I be like, yeah, you want to see the birth? <laughs> so sometimes, sometimes I go overboard with my jokes, man. Sometimes, you know, I told them, I said, dang, before I was a dad, I had the dad jokes. I had the dad jokes in the, in the tuck before I was, before he was born. I had the dad jokes. Uh, so... Man, for real. Look what look what I made. Exactly. You know, say proud papa with the with the full gimbal Sony camera just in there filming. Filming the whole thing. 
And he told me to. I was like, you can't really be filming up in here like that. But, you know, I had to do it. Mike, man, we are glad to have you here and glad for you to be here with the conversation as well, my brother. Yes, man. Congratulations to you and your daughter as well. Would you use a 35 millimeter? I used a, um, I think this, this camera has a, uh, it's a 24, this is a 28, 28 to 70 millimeter. So the widest is 28. So I usually was just at 28, uh, 28 <laughs> with my lens. Just capturing that, man. But um, for real, man. Shout out to her, man. Shout out to wifey. Shout out to you. Uh, I hit my iPhone in the cut and got the entire thing. That's right. That's right, JR. I have my laptop. I had too much tech. I had too much tech in that room, okay? I had too much tech in that room, man. One of these days, I'm going to uh, actually edit it. It's like so many. Because we, we went in... We went in like the day before and then it was like it pretty much was like almost 24 hours before, you know, he came. So it was like I just did all of like, you know, while we were there, people was coming in to visit. Nurses was coming in, all this other type of stuff. And I just kind of just got like the whole the whole scene. So I want to edit. A, a video to get and put the whole video together and, and share that with friends and family so they can experience the experience together. And, you know, we just had to cut certain parts. <laughs> roll call. I need a button for roll call. I need a sound effect for roll call. We'll go through this roll call real quick, man. Shout out to Raging Oracle, Glacier Rays, Mr. Frosty Beats. Also, Mr. Frosty Beats came through on the live stream as well. Where is this? How can I get this here so y'all can see me do that too? Hold on real quick. Because I like that. I like that. Give me that. Copy. Let me see. Can I just hit paste? Boom. I can just hit paste. Swing that thing back. There we go. All my people that was here in chat, man, appreciate y'all for coming through. Raging Oracle, Glacier Rays, Mr. Frosty Beats, him downstairs. Hey, y'all been hanging out with me the whole time, man. I appreciate y'all. Posting Beats. Posting Beats came through with the super chat. Thank you so much, Posting, for the super chat as well, man. I really appreciate the support. It definitely keeps me going, being able to do this channel and to be able to do these live streams, man. I appreciate you. Hi. I like this little this shot right here i was trying to get the drums in so it could look more musical because i had like the little green screen and just a black background but it's just like oh like, man i'm a music live stream i need to have some some music stuff happening you know what i'm saying um but uh him downstairs hanging out with us jacob keeman mcrath uh was also in here i didn't get a chance to say hello when he first came through hopefully um you guys are welcome and all the different people that's coming through i appreciate y'all for being you know an awesome chat man i i love that it's positive i love that we help each other out man i appreciate y'all man y'all just don't know people out there it's different it's different so it's good to know that you know we got some god-fearing people up in here and we just got some good people that you know want to share the love and want to be positive man i appreciate y'all Dr. Guy was in here. Um, just trying to see all of the different names. Give a final shout out to you guys for coming through. Mike Ramondo. Uh, Mint Plus. That's a new name. Haven't seen that. Uh, Mint Plus. Thank you for coming through as well. Um, JR also came through. Shout out to y'all, man. <laughs> Round of applause to y'all for coming through. Appreciate y'all, man. Thank you so much for rocking out with your boy. And um, I got to head out. It's time for me to switch. It's time to switch duties. But we did get a chance to hang out and discuss Object, the new Reason instrument. So I'm excited about that. You're definitely going to see me go live when that drops. We got to move some stuff around. I got the baby swing in here. So if he need to be in here in the baby swing while we go live, we might have to do that too. Um, but I appreciate y'all for coming through, man. Until next time, peace.